Lazius Niger, the most common, yet along with their American counterpart, Lazius Neo Niger, the most underrated ants out there. Why do these ant species, also known as black garden ants, often get overlooked? What speaks for keeping them as your pets and what against it? And are they worth your time as an ant keeper? Keep watching this video until the end for answers to all these questions, including my own joys and disasters I have experienced in my last three years keeping them. Let's get started. Hello and welcome or welcome back to the Ants Vienna Ant Channel, ladies and gentlemen, where we talk, show and assist you in everything you need to know when keeping ants as pets. Recently, I got a comment asking me to discontinue making ant farm build tutorials and make an ant video instead. So today, I will give you an update on one of the ant colonies I've been keeping for a very long time here on the channel. We are talking about our beloved Lazius Niger ants. As always, don't hesitate to give me a thumbs up if you like this video and make sure you are subscribed if you don't want to miss any future ant videos. It all started on a hot, humid day of June, three years ago. I had found my first Lazius Niger queen ant. Like I do for all my freshly collected queens, I introduced her to a test tube setup and gave her a little drop of honey to assist her in starting her ant colony. I have a detailed tutorial on how to make a test tube setup that you can watch here. But in a nutshell, you start by filling up a test tube, which you can get from any local drugstore, halfway with water, then forming a cotton ball and pressing it in. Put another cotton ball on the other end and done. Your queen ant then basically lives within these two pieces of cotton, being able to drink and keep herself and her brood humid through the one and breathe through the other. All I had to do after that was to place the test tube at a dark place with room temperature. A few weeks later, her first workers, the Nanitics, were born. Typically for Lazius Niger, we are talking 20 plus ants here. It was time to give them some space to expand their reign and grow the colony to an even larger number of individuals. And so they did. After I had introduced them to this little green acrylic ant farm that I bought on Amazon only a few days earlier. During my second year of keeping the colony, they kept growing and growing, reaching around 200 individual ants, before I had to finally open the lid to the second section of this little ant formicarium. At this point, I truly enjoyed myself keeping them along with my other pet ant colonies. However, life is full of surprises, not only good ones. Let me know what surprises you have had while keeping ants as pets in the comments. I read and answer them all. So, due to personal health issues, I had to be away from home and my ants for many weeks, even months. After my return, I realized that their setup was too dry when I saw every single worker lying dead on their backs. No! How could this be? Thankfully, I soon located the queen. Her highness was alive. Somehow, she and some of the larvae were not dead quite yet. In a last-minute effort to save my Lazius Niger colony, I unscrewed the ant farm and collected the queen along with the brood in a test tube. Looking back from the present day, I am glad I made this effort, since the queen did manage to grow the remaining larva into pupa 
and they, in turn, hatched into worker ants soon. Now, after giving them love, time and loads of ant food, the colony is back on its feet. With a count of approximately 30 workers, they are, once more, ready to be moved into a formicarium. However, this time I have made a custom DIY sand ant farm for them. This will not dry out as easy while also giving the ants the freedom to dig their own tunnels. Plus, I am not going anywhere anytime soon. Feel free to check out my ant farm build tutorial playlist here. So, what have I learned from my experience with Lazius Niger in the last three years? Lazius ants often get overlooked by ant enthusiasts since they are not very large ants, lack exotic colors and other remarkable characteristics while also being subject to hibernation. But, and this is a big but, Lazius Niger grow fast, are a very aggressive and territorial ant species, which gives them a lot of presence on the surface and a lot for the ant keeper to watch. They do not have particular housing, temperature or feeding requirements. Lazius, as a genus, are also very robust ants. Lazius niger in particular. While the absence of a sting also makes them perfect for beginners of the ant keeping hobby. So now that I've shared all this personal experience and awesomeness of Lazius Niger with you, it's time to move them into this ant farm I've made in the last build tutorial. Before we go ahead and do that, I would love to hear your opinion on Lazius Niger. Do you like Lazius Niger? Why or why not? Let me know down in the comments. So, what I did not do in the last video was to drill entrance holes to my setups. I only do that if the situation requires it. And since the test tube was too big to fit in this Ferrero Rocher box in one piece, I got my drill along with these step drill bits that will allow us to drill through the acrylic without breaking it. I had to remove some of the sand because there were pieces of acrylic in it and we don't want that. Let's fill this up again and get ready to apply some escape prevention on the top of the lid. I use paraffin oil here, but this is a personal choice. I have also paired these tubing pieces, the thin end for the formicarium and the other to fit the test tube. If you watch closely, you can see one single end roaming around in the outworld. This is a worker that was trapped in the cotton in the entrance of the test tube. Anyway, she is probably missing her sisters. So let's get ready to release the cover in three, two, one, there they go. Many workers rushed out to explore the new area. After exposing the test tube to light and giving them this golden opportunity of a sand paradise to move in, the ants started moving without second thoughts. So, while we watch our colony moving in, I would like to know, did you enjoy today's ant update? And what colony would you like to see an update on next? I always try to take my subscribers' wishes into consideration when creating new videos. Meanwhile, if you are interested in Lazius ants and want to know more about them, Feel free to check out the videos that appear on your screen right now.